Today, I'm gonna to show you how to cook the perfect Sunday roast on your Kadai outdoors, utilizing the brand new Kadai lid. Right, so the cut of choice today is the Pecana. So this is known as the rump cap. There's only two small caps on each animal. This is a very, very sought after piece in South America. I love to cook it just because I love the flavor of the fat here. There's a really big, thick cap on it, and we wanna keep some of that on there, but I also really wanna use it to flavor some of my spuds. So I'm just gonna trim a little bit down. You wanna leave at least sort of half a centimeter. We're gonna use that to make the most incredible potatoes. Just gonna trim that off. Beautiful fat. This is aged 35 days from a Shropshire limousine. Absolutely beautiful bit of meat. It's a great advert for getting to know your local butcher because you won't find this in the supermarkets. Now to help this render a little further, what we're gonna do now is just score the fat with a diamond formation all the way across. And that's just gonna help it render down and become super crispy for when we finally serve it up. And then flip around and just do the same again. Around about a centre and a centimetre, a centimetre and a half maybe in between the lines. Salt. Now we need to make sure we give this plenty of salt to begin with because the seasoning is only going to be on the outside. Okay so it might look like a lot of salt but it's actually not going to taste very salty because we've got to make sure the seasoning gets right down into the meat. So loads of sea salt on the underside. Liberally hit it with pepper all over and get that worked right into the meat. Now I like to let that sit for around about half an hour, let the salt do its thing. You'll see it starts to dissolve. So it's the perfect time to set up the barbecue. Okay, so I just added some extra unlit coals either side of the lit pile, just for some continuity of heat. I'm gonna also add one log of wood, and that's gonna provide some smoke to flavor our beef. Next, we'll just drop in our griddle. And centerpiece. This is gonna allow us to get in and out if we need to mess around with the coals. Then we add the ring, which just sits right over the top of the bowl. And then just to secure it, we just slide it into the rivet of the Gothic stand. Okay, then we're gonna take our pecana and we're gonna go fat side up and the fattest edge of the cut is gonna go closest to the fire, like so. Then we add our lid. I'm gonna keep an eye on that and cook it until we hit an internal temperature of just below maybe 50 C to serve it medium rare. So as the Kadai doesn't have any low events, this has been cleverly designed so that all the way around, we have this gap of about an inch and a half and that allows the air to still get in and make sure that your fire doesn't go out. Right then, let's see how this is doing. So lift the lid off and that just sits on the back there. Now you can see this looks absolutely amazing. The fat's dancing, but what we need to do is check the temperature. We always cook the temperature and not the time of barbecue. And we're looking at hitting this at around about 50 C. So at the moment in the thickest part, we're on 35. So we're nearly there. What I'm gonna do though, is just turn this around now. Because as you'll see, we're getting a nice bit of crust on that outside. And so it's time to even that up. So we're just gonna turn it around so that the next thickest side is nearest the heat and the lid's gonna go back over. All right, one last temp temperature check. Yeah, that's hitting nearly 50. So for me, that's time to come off. And we're gonna let it rest. Right then, we're also gonna make cauliflower cheese because I absolutely love a cauliflower cheese with my Sunday roast. So to make the cheese sauce, we're gonna take a pan, just over a sort of medium heat, add in about 50 grams of butter. The butter's melted, we're just gonna add in a ladle of 
just plain flour. Just work that down until it's smooth. And then the trick to a good cheese sauce, or to make a white sauce and bechamel, to, to begin with, is just to add a little bit at a time. Otherwise, you're gonna find that you get lumps, okay? So just work that out. So it'll almost go back to where you started within seconds. And again, we're gonna keep this going until we've got that McDonald's milkshake consistency. And now we're gonna add 200 grams of cheese. We've got 100 grams of mature cheddar and 100 grams of double Gloucester. I like the color of the double Gloucester. Get that straight in the pan. Melt that down. So that cheese is all melted, or near enough. I'm gonna add in some naughty American mustard. Okay, so this is the consistency I want my cheese sauce to end at. But because it's gonna cook on top of our cauliflower, what we're gonna need to do now is just add in a little bit of milk to bring it a bit looser then we'd like it to finish. Probably another 100 mils. Let's work that in. And then, so that is kind of a little bit loose now, but as I say, when it cooks down, it's gonna be just perfect by the time you serve. Okay, you wanna take the smallest skillet of the set of three that could I do, and we're gonna drop a parboiled cauliflower hole in the middle. Then we're just gonna take that cheese sauce and we're gonna pour it all over the top. Because you can never get enough cheese, we're just gonna go for a little bit of Parmesan on the top to finish her off. Okay, next up, we're gonna take the big skillet, get that right over the heat. Gonna hit, hit it with a little drop of vegetable oil. And then we're gonna take that fat that we saved from the Bacana, the beef fat, and get that in and just render it down until it's all kind of dissolved. Next, I've got some parboiled whole baby carrots and some Maris Piper potatoes. I'm just gonna throw in some rosemary before they go in, get some flavor in that oil. And then in go the spuds and carrots. I'm just gonna work those around. Okay, and finally, a giant Yorkshire pudding. So, medium skillet, get it super, super hot. You want a good glug of oil, maybe two tablespoons of oil. Okay, once the fat's really hot, pour in that freezing cold batter. There's something incredibly satisfying about doing this. Lid down. See you in about half an hour. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I've had a little peek and these are looking insane. Look at those. Okay, so we're just, just to finish, we're gonna take one of the Kadai grill trays, which this just stops anything small falling through the grill plates. So we're gonna add into there, just, I've just dressed some tender stem broccoli, just with a little bit of rapeseed oil and some salt. I'm just gonna char those off. I'm gonna take our pecana, which has been resting for some time now. We're gonna go fat side down, straight over the coals. Now you need to keep an eye on that. We're just gonna crisp up that fat, we don't want it to burn. So stay with it, because as soon as it starts to render, we're gonna see some flare ups. Wow, look at that. Just gonna get some heat back into it. It's been resting for some time. We stopped it a little bit before where we wanted it to be temp wise, so this is not gonna hurt. Okay, so I'd say that these are done. Just getting a nice little bit of char on the edges. You don't wanna overcook them. You know, I like my vegetables a little bit crunchy, keep all the goodness in them. So they're gonna come off. Then we have, of course, our cauliflower cheese, which I'm just gonna attempt to, to just load straight in to the Yorkshire pudding, like so, and pour that all over the cauliflower. And now for slicing this pecana, so we're gonna cut against the grain. You can see the grain is running that way. So to get the most tender slices, we're gonna cut across that and straight in. The edges may be a little bit cooked, but in the middle, we should have perfectly blushing, beautiful roast beef. Look at that fat cap that's still rendered down on the top. 
absolutely gorgeous. And this is a great cut for serving to the family. If you've got somebody who doesn't like it quite so rare, the middle bit is usually really juicy and pink, whereas the outside bits are a little bit more done, so you've got a bit to suit everybody's taste. Okay, so now we're just gonna serve this up. So I'm just gonna take a look how deliciously tender and juicy that is. Load up some tender stem and some of those gorgeous roasties, a couple of carrots, and then the finale, slice into this cauliflower. And there we have our fire cooked Sunday roast on the Kadai, pecana cooked to medium rare, a cauliflower cheese, Yorkshire puddings, roast potatoes, roast carrots, and charred tender stem broccoli. What more could you want on a Sunday afternoon this summer? Thank you.